This is the story of Disney's The Emperor's New Groove. To play the story right now, press the yellow forward button. If you'd like to read the story yourself, you can switch between the play mode and the read mode by pressing the purple mode button. You can move through the story by using the yellow forward button and the pink back button. To pause the story, press the blue pause button. You can quit at any time by pressing the orange quit button. So, press the yellow forward button and let's begin now. In the palace, Emperor Kuzco was calling his servants. Butler? Chef? Kuzco snapped his fingers. Then, he danced down the hallways and rudely bumped into an elderly man. Instead of apologizing, Kuzco yelled. No! You threw off my groove! The guards threw the old man out the window. Next, Kuzco went to speak with his advisor, Yzma. He decided he was sick of her. Oh, and by the way, you're fired. Yzma was furious. She also was very unforgiving. As she angrily smashed statues of Kuzco, she told her helper, Krunk, that she wanted to get rid of Kuzco for good. With him out of the way and no heir to the throne, I'll take over and rule the empire. Meanwhile, Kuzco was meeting with a peasant named Pacha. Kuzco told Pacha that he was going to destroy Pacha's village to build Kuzkotopia. Booyah! My ultimate summer getaway, complete with water slots. Pacha was shocked. But, but, um, where will we live? Hmm. Don't know, don't care. How's that? Down in her laboratory, Yzma continued her plans on how to get rid of Kuzco. Ah, how shall I do it? Then, she discovered a bottle of something wicked that she wanted to use on Kuzco. She spilled it, and it killed a plant. <laughs> Yzma smiled and handed the poison to Kronk. Take it, Kronk. <laughs> Feel the power. Kronk felt the bottle. Oh, I can feel it. Later, at dinner, Kronk almost forgot about the poison, so Yzma helped him out. Kronk, the Emperor needs his drink. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Kronk served Kuzco the potion, and he drank it. Surprisingly, he turned into a llama. That wasn't quite what Yzma had planned. Yzma was furious. She ordered Kronk to knock the llama out. Take him out of town and finish the job now! So Kronk put Kuzco the llama in a sack and dumped him in a canal. And then he felt guilty and fished him out. But he was still scared of what Yzma would do if she found out. Oh boy. Think, think, think. What to do? What to do? What do we do with the body? Then something really weird happened. Kronk tripped, oh, oh. and the sack flew out of his hands, landing on the back of Pacha's cart. Pacha didn't realize what had happened, so he drove away. Oh. Kronk tried to catch up with Pacha, but he couldn't. He thought of Yzma's unforgiving ways. Uh oh. This is not good. Hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. After the long ride home, Pacha was too sad to tell his wife, Chicha, that their village was about to be destroyed. Chicha could tell he was worried about something. Pacha, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just a little tired from the trip. Needless to say, Pacha was surprised when he went outside, opened the sack on his cart and found a llama inside. Whoa. The emperor was surprised too. No touchy. Now, Pacha had never heard a llama talk before, so he was a little freaked out. 
The problem was that Kuzco still didn't realize he was a llama. What are you talking about? Oh wait, I know you. You're that whiny peasant. That's when Pacha started to realize whom the llama was. <gasps> Emperor Kuzco? Tja, who do you think you were talking to? Pacha wasn't sure how to break the news to the emperor that he was a llama. Duh. How did... Um... You don't look like the Emperor. Finally, Kuzco saw his reflection in the water. Ah! My face! My beautiful, beautiful face! I'm an ugly, stinky llama! <laughs> Pacha tried to calm him down. Llama okay, face. okay, well, whoa, 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 wait. What happened? I'm trying to figure that out, okay? I can't remember anything. Wait a minute. I remember you. I remember telling you that I was building my pool where your house was, and then you got mad at me. Oh! And you turned me into a llama. Now, Pacha was a patient man, but this was too much. What? No, I did not. Then Kuzco demanded that Pacha take hey, him you. back to the palace. No time to waste. Let's but go. But Pacha refused. I can't let you go back unless you change your mind and build your summer home somewhere else. Stubbornly, Kuzco decided to go out on his own. Fine. I don't need you. I can find my own way back. Pacha started to get concerned, even though he thought Kuzco was a brat. I wouldn't recommend it. It's a little dangerous if you don't know the way. Pacha was thinking of snakes, and jaguars, and quicksand. But Kuzco struck out on his own anyway. It didn't take him long to realize he was lost and scared. When he saw a squirrel, Kuzco screamed. What do you want? The squirrel, whose name was Bucky, offered Kuzco an acorn. But Kuzco was used to eating emperor food. Hit the road, Bucky! Just then, Kuzco tripped into a den of sleeping jaguars. <laughs> the jaguars awoke and chased Kuzco to the edge of a cliff. Kuzco was trapped. You killer jaguar. Whoa! Just then, Kuzco heard Pacha. He was swinging on a vine to save the emperor. Ah! Don't worry, your highness, I gotcha. You're safe now. But the truth was, they weren't safe yet. Soon they fell thousands of feet into a raging river. Kuzco was not pleased. Maybe I'm just new to this whole rescuing thing, but this, to me, might be considered kind of a step backwards, wouldn't you say? After going over a huge waterfall and surviving, Kuzco was finally grateful. He agreed to save Pacha's village. Pacha smiled. All right, let's get you back to the palace. But Kuzco had lied about saving Pacha's village, showing he was just as selfish as ever. When Pacha fell through a bridge and was dangling by a rope over a huge gap, he pleaded with Kuzco, Quick, pump me up! No, I don't think I will. It looked like the end for Pacha, when suddenly Kuzco fell through the bridge too. Pacha was concerned. Are you okay? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm all right. Good! Then he punched the llama. That's for going back on your promise. Ah! Ah! So the two fought it out until they finally realized both their lives were in danger. They decided to help each other climb out of the gorge and found that they made a pretty good team after all. By now, 
Cusco and Pacha were really hungry, so they stopped by Mudka's Meat Hut. When the meal arrived, Cusco wasn't happy with his food. I'm just gonna slip into the kitchen and have a word with the chef. But right after he left, Kronk and Yzma sat down in the booth behind Pacha. He heard them talking about killing Cusco. Pacha knew he had to help his llama pal fast, so he sneaked him outside. They're trying to kill you! Kill me, their whole world revolves around me! Pacha was upset. Will you just listen no, no, to me? No, no, you listen to me. All you care about is your, your stupid hilltop. Kuzco turned and left Pacha. But just when he was about to catch up to Yzma, he overheard her talking to Kronk. If you hadn't mixed up those poisons, Kuzco would be dead now. Kuzco ran away from Yzma and Kronk as fast as he could. Then he raced into the jungle to find his friend. Pacha! Pacha! But Pacha was nowhere to be found. Kuzco felt as if he had chased away his only friend in the world with his hard words. After a lonely night in the rain, Kuzco awoke and heard a familiar voice among a herd of llamas. You know, call me crazy for following this guy all the way out here, but as much as he tries to deny it, I know there's some good in him. Besides, I couldn't just leave him out here all alone. He's a lousy llama. I mean, a really lousy llama. Kuzco ran to his friend. He'd never been happier to see someone in his life. <laughs> Kuzco really needed help. Pacha devised a plan. Okay, we're just gonna stop at the house and get some supplies. And we'll be on our way, right? Right. But trouble awaited them at Pacha's house. Yzma and Kronk were already there looking for them. While Yzma was in another room, Pacha sneaked in and explained things to Chicha. So we have to get back to the palace, find the lab, and change him back. Chicha was ready. Go, I'll stall them long enough for you two to get a head start. And that's exactly what she did. While Kuzco and Pacha started to race through the jungle toward the palace, Chicha and her two kids covered Yzma with honey and feathers and then sent her sailing down the hill where she became a piñata at a party. Yzma called for Kronk. There they go, Kronk. Uh, they're getting away. Soon Yzma and Kronk were on the trail, chasing the emperor and the villager through the jungle. Just when it looked as if Kronk and Yzma were going to catch up with Kuzgo and Pacha, they were struck by lightning. No time to lose, Kuzgo and Pacha raced ahead. They thought they'd been through the scariest part of their journey, but they still had to take Yzma's secret ride down to her lab. Please remain seated and keep your arms and legs in at all times. In the lab, Pacha searched desperately for the potion that would make Kuzco human again. What does it look like? I don't know, just keep looking. Suddenly, Yzma appeared. <laughs> to confuse them, she tipped over the shelf containing all her potions. It was impossible to tell which one was which. Then Yzma told the palace guards to chase Pacha and Kuzco. Kill them! They murdered the Emperor! No way, no, I'm the Emperor! But the guards didn't recognize him, and they chased him outside the palace, where they were thousands of feet above the ground. At last, the only bottle left was the one that would make Cusco human again. He was about to grab it when Pacha slipped and was left hanging Whoa. inches away from falling to his death. Cusco asked Pacha to wait. You right there, give me a minute! But Pacha couldn't wait. Kuzco! So, instead of grabbing the bottle, Kuzco did the right thing and saved his friend. Luckily, the two were able to work together to reach the bottle. Kuzco smiled at Pacha. 
Well, see you on the other side. Then he drank the potion. After becoming human again, Cusco decided not to destroy Pacha's village. Instead, he built a small vacation cottage near Pacha's hill so he could visit Pacha whenever he wanted. At last, Cusco was not only a nice emperor, but a happy one too. If you really want to quit, click on the picture of Cusco. To keep playing, click on the picture of Pacha. Click on Kronk if you would like to visit Disney.com.